Welcome to the Chief's Way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50! Hey YouTube, today uh, we're going to do a video on uh, how to install a SAE port on the back of your house. A viewer quite a while ago uh, asked me how to do this. Uh, I already had one installed on the back of the house, but this is basically one of the cheap, cheap plastic ones from uh, from Amazon and uh, you know, the Chinese ones. So this one, it's already lost. It's a uh, you know, little cover that goes on there. It's down in the leaves here somewhere. But today, this is an install video, but really it's a replacement video. I got a new one. This is from Zamp Solar. You know, it has better wire on it. And this isn't cheap plastic. This is more of like a hard rubbery material. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this. So basically what you have to do is you got this area here, which is three quarters of an inch. So we'll need to you would need to drill a three quarter of an inch hole, you know, in through your siding into the, into your house. And then on, put it in there, you know, put it in and then mark the four holes and maybe like pre-drill those four holes with a small bit. Cause that's what I had done when I first put this one in. Okay. And then on the back of this area, you just run a bead of uh, you know, clear caulk so you don't get any water down in there. And then you just, you know, slide it in through the hole and put your four screws in to hold it in place. And we can unplug that. And then you got the port. You see the little lid busted off because this is, you know, cheap plastic. But well, we're gonna replace it with a much better one today. And uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll take out those four screws and remove the old one and we'll put the new one in. Okay, you see we got the old one out. You know, there's our three quarter inch hole with our four screws. And you see the old one came out here. You see where that clear caulking was around it. And boy, it was a pretty much a bugger to get out of there. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna caulk up the new one and get it in and get it screwed down. And I just noticed that this one has got much longer wires than the new one. So we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, extend that. So I'll probably, you know, cut off some of this wire and install some plugs to extend the new wire to get into the terminal board. But we'll see that when we get indoors. Okay, we got the caulk on it. We got it installed. And uh, you see it's got, this one's got the nice cover, which like I said, is not the cheap plastic. You know, it's kind of like a hard rubber. So whenever I don't have my panels out, we can keep that connector nice and dry in there. All right, so now let's go inside and we'll extend those cables and get them hooked back up to the, uh, the terminal board. Okay, we're back inside now and you can see the new wires are a little short of the two terminal strips, the red and the black one where they got to hook up to. So what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to, you know, add a little bit of an extension to them. You can see that the hole they came through I kind of backfilled it with some, uh, you know, fiberglass insulation, you know, keep the a draft and, uh, you know, the crawly, creepy critters, uh, you know, climbing into the house. So I'm going to go ahead and add this extension on here and get it hooked back up to the terminal strip. Okay, we got the, you know, the connectors all on there and the extensions on and it's hooked back up to our uh, terminal board. The panels are hooked up outside. All we got to do is connect up our meter and make sure we got the polarities correct. And we are getting 16 plus 16 volts. So that's good. So our polarities are correct. All right, the, the bat of insulation is all back in place. So now we can come down here, turn our battery on. And we got a 
Our battery is actually full at the moment. 14.3 volts, 400 milliamps. Now we're gonna turn on the charge controller. Remember, always battery first and then solar. Battery first, solar. So we put the battery on, let it boot up. Okay, that's our battery voltage. Now let's go up and we'll switch it over to, this is our panel voltage. So we'll turn our panels on. Okay, well, it's uh, just in our panel voltage. Okay, it's got it up to 14.7. It's late, late in the afternoon now. The sun's going down, so we're, I mean, we're not going to get very much out of it. So we got 14.7 volts and like no amps. So, I mean, it's getting dark outside. So, I mean, we're back up and running. We'll see what happens in the morning when the sun comes up. Well, I'm pretty confident everything's okay. We checked our polarity and it was all good. So we, uh, we got a brand new Zamp solar connector on the outside of our connector to get us through the winter. The other one lasted basically just one winter. You know, that cheap plastic got so cold that, uh, you know, you moved uh, the cover, the cap, and it just broke off. So we got a, a better quality one on there now that's going to last us for years. Now here for uh, future videos, we'll do a video. We're going we're gonna to install this pretty much right next to where we were out there. It's going to take a little bit bigger hole. But this is where our generator outside, let's see if we can get this one-handed here. See, our generator outside will plug in to this and it'll come into two connectors on the inside. And one of them will connect up to our AM75 amp 12-volt, uh, 24-volt battery charger. So forever uh, off the grid for a while because power's out and we need to charge the battery because we haven't had sufficient sun. We can hook up a small generator out in the back, plug it right into the back of the house and then charge the batteries. And then also got this coming up. This will probably be in the spring. That gives another quite a bit of number 10 wire. But we are going to install this, which is an upgrade on another corner of the house. So this is actually MC4 connectors with cable. And we're gonna put that on another side of the house and then run the cables up over into, you know, the terminal board up here. That way we can, uh, you know, we have uh, options of where we want to put our cables at. So, or our panels, excuse me. So we'll be installing this probably in the spring. All right, YouTube, if you like this, uh, if you like this content, please like and supply, and we'll see you in the next one.